There are many different ways of doing a penile implant uh, and I want to talk today about the different types of incisions. Um, I also want to highlight some of the advantages and the disadvantages of each incision. So there are three possible incisions when doing a penile implant. So this illustrates an incision that is above the penis, also um, referred to as, as infrapubic or suprapubic incision. So it's a transverse incision above the penis. Then you have the transverse incision that is below the penis into the scrotum. And, and then the, finally you have what we call the vertical penoscrotal incision or scrotal incision, which uh, is on the raffe, which is a line between the two testicles. As you can see from this illustration, when the incision heals, the incision that is going to be the most discreet and the most uh, cosmetically appealing will be the vertical uh, incision in, in the scrotum. Why? Because it heals over a raffe or the line that men have between the uh, two uh, testicles in the scrotum. And so it's, it, it's concealed uh, on that uh, line. Now the transverse scrotal incision is something that's uh, been uh, popularized recently and that uh, gives you a scar across the scrotum which is very visible and I believe uh, not the best for the patient. The infrapubic incision is more discreet uh, than the transverse scrotal incision because it, you have a pubic hair that can, you can hide it. However, if one uh, shaves, you can see the scar there and again, it's less discreet. Now let's talk about what are some of the advantages of each incision. And, this, and I first want to talk about the incision that is above the penis, which is the infrapubic incision. So this is illustrated over here. And what you can see, and this is the skin line, and this is the muscle tissue that is before the, the uh, right before the abdominus rectus muscle. And one of the disadvantage of this incision is when you approach the body of the penis and you make a cut over here, the tubing that exits the shaft of the penis exits at the 12 o'clock position and then one needs to make a 180 degree turn to get to the scrotum and put the pump in the scrotum. The disadvantage of that is now you have tubing that is palpable on the side of the penis near the root of the penis and some patients will complain that the tube is bothering and it's less discreet, it's more palpable by a patient. For example, during oral sex, a patient may notice, uh, a patient's partner may notice that there is tubing there. In addition, what can, you can see here is that the incision on the shaft of the penis to put the implant is above the body plane. So that part of the penis that used to stretch now is going to have scar tissue and you're going to have this tubing over here below the skin which is going to reduce the functional length of the penis to, to when one has intercourse. In other words, this area here is compressible during intercourse and if you have scar tissue here or tubing, it prevents the patient from in, uh, deeper penetration and so it, again it can be uh, felt by the partner and uh, for that reason it is not my uh, preferred approach.